So let me actually, it doesn't take all day long to state the postulates of special relativity. So let me do that. Um, so this, uh, the very first thing I wrote here, this is actually the uh, first postulate of relativity. So instead of principle of relativity, let me say postulate. I want different color. Uh, let me not do red. Let me do. So we are now going to call this postulate of relativity. How many here know what the word postulate means? Hypothesis, it's, uh, well, mm, it's close. I like to call it fancy word for guess or assumption. Uh, in, in mathematics, they call it axiom. Like uh, th uh, there's an axiom of uh, linear algebra or something. Uh, or there's something called the axiom of choice, which is somehow important in set theory or something. And all they mean by axiom, I mean, they also, the f f another, High following sound, the uh, synonym for axiom is self-evident truths. But in, in mathematics, really, what axiom is, is it's, uh, it's your starting point. And in, mathema in you know, abstract mathematics, from those starting points, you prove everything else, like lemmas, theorems, uh, et cetera. In physics, I guess, uh, in science, <laughs> um, hypothesis would be uh, like a working guess to uh, what might be going on. Postulate is uh, at a level a little bit higher than that. It is an assumption. It's almost like a law of physics, except that when you call something a law, like a Newton's law of motion, it's, uh, uh, it's a deductive. Deductive? No, it's inductive. You observe several experimental things. From that, you, um, you infer a law. I think that's called inductive, right? Yeah, yeah, inductive. Yeah. Or deductive. I forget. I don't know. Um, postulate. This is our starting point. This is our assumption. We, this is not. Um, uh, this is not. So, so th you will see that this is a very theoretical approach to uh, theory. So um, everything else you've seen so far was uh, more experiment oriented. The laws of electricity and uh, magnetism. I just gave you an equation that came out from a bunch of experiments people have done. Postulate of special relativity, oops, I forgot the word, the special. Postulate of special relativity will be a little bit different. We are going to start out with uh, two statements that are self-evidently true, and um, that's our starting point for everything. So the very first postulate is the principle of relativity, which um, you, everyone recognizes as intuitively correct. So we are going to keep this. Um, let me just call this, uh, give it a nickname, principle of relativity. And the second postulate of special relativity is uh, what we started the class with, that uh, when you look at speed of light, and you assume principle of relativity is co correct, and you assume Maxwell had it right when he derived this speed of electromagnetic wave without assuming an ether, then, then this also has to be true. Um, this is the second postulate of special relativity, that speed of light, I guess I should be careful here, Speed of light in vacuum. If uh, it's light in a medium like a glass water, then, then you know it would hold. You would do the same thing you do with the sound waves. So speed of light in vacuum is the same in all inertial reference. Frames. So um, I don't know. Um, let me give it this nickname. Um, I, this is my favorite. Uh, the nickname I like to give to this one, I would call it correctness. Correctness of 
theory of electrodynamics. So these two postulates are our starting point for special relativity. And as I warned you at the beginning of the class, some of the consequences will be counterintuitive. It'll violently disagree with your intuition. 